Hey guys, it's Kiana and welcome back to the King's <laughs> So today that I'm filming this is the night before Thanksgiving. It's about six o'clock. And a lot of times I start vlogging the night before a big vlog or like a big event. And I started vlogging tonight because I wanted to show you guys my package that came in that I talked about in my other vlog that I was a hot mess. I finally ended up getting it. I'm going to share with you guys what was in that package and talk about a few other things. But before we get into today's vlog, because today is my Thanksgiving vlog, I want to talk about what I'm thankful for this year. I typically make a separate video and post it on my corner, but I didn't do that this year because I just don't want to keep being repetitive and making the same videos every year. So I'm going to just do it in my vlog channel real quick and call it a day. One of the things that I'm thankful for through the year of 2019 was... I don't really know how to word it, but just inner strength and and self-control. 2019 was a really, really hard year for me, and I just had to be thankful for inner strength and self-control and keeping myself centered through all the things I was going through, and I'm just thankful. I know that sounds like weird, like how could you be thankful for something like that, but I'm thankful for it. Like I really think that I handled myself really well this year over the things that I really, really, the things that I went through this year and the things I had to go through and witness and whatnot. I'm just thankful that I handled it pretty well and my inner strength and things like that, I'm thankful for. Another thing I'm very, very thankful for is my family. And when I say family, I mean every last family member I have because family, even though it can be crazy sometimes and sometimes irritate your soul, your family is always the people at the end of the day who are there for you and can understand you. So I'm very, very thankful for my family this year, like every year, <laughs> extended family, immediate family, both sides of my family, everybody. Third thing I'm thankful for is my doggy because I've gone through, I've really gone through it this year and every time I come home from a bad day, and my dog is there to cheer me up. Even my sister's puppies too, but my dog in general, he really, really cheers me up. And I'm very, very thankful for him. And a lot of times I don't know where I would be without my dog. So comment down below if your pet really, really knows how to cheer you up on your bad days. And the last thing I'm thankful for is all of you guys who support me, who comment on my videos, who engage in all of my uh, like stuff I put on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'm so thankful for you guys. All my subscribers, all the people who comment ideas, who comment their thoughts and opinions on things. I'm actually very thankful for that because that gives me an idea of what you guys are liking on my channel and I love it very much. I'm thankful for all of you guys who are active on my channel with me and love what I'm doing just as much as I do and I'm thankful for all my supporters. So the other thing I'm very, very thankful for that I wasn't going to add in here because it's just obvious. I wanted to keep it short, but I'm very thankful for my friends. I'm so, so thankful for my friends. Um, Aaliyah, I mean, Aaliyah, she's really my only like close, close friend that I've been friends with for many years that we've actually stayed friends, her and Alani. Um, I'm also thankful for my friend that I met at work, Kennedy. We really haven't hung out in a while because we don't work together anymore. We both work different schedules. Um, but hopefully after the holidays and after she gets back from her cruise, uh, we can figure something out. We can hang out and hopefully be even before the holidays. I'm thankful for all my other friends who, when we periodically every now and then hang out and talk to each other. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to throw that out there. Let's get in to the rest of the vlog. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you what was in my package that I was complaining about in my last vlog. Because to me, it was serious. And I know I was making it a big deal, but it was just so frustrating to me that that even happened. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link the vlog below. I literally talk about it right at the opening. You don't have to skip through because it was a very frustrating situation for me. Let's just say they ended up breaking my packages up into three, into two packages. They sent me the shoes and then they sent me the rest of the stuff. I just got the rest of the stuff today, which is the day before Thanksgiving, which is perfect because my outfit for Thanksgiving was in there. And then the shoes were sent to me. I think I got those last week sometime. Anyway, what I got was I got some phone cases. I got this phone case for me. It just says 90s baby and it has like a lava lamp, a Game Boy, 
an old home phone, a cassette tape. It's not really a cassette tape, it's just like a tape that you put into your CD player. A Tamagotchi and like the rolled bubble gum and then a ring pop. And I really love this case. And I love rubber cases. They're just more durable for your phone. And I actually really, really like this case. It's probably like $3. All the stuff I got was from Shein. This is not sponsored. I just wanted to let you guys know the stuff I got. Then I got this multi-function connector, synchronous charging audio. So this is so you can listen to music and charge your phone at the same time. With iPhone, you cannot, with the newer iPhones, you cannot charge your phone and listen to music at the same time. Unless you have AirPods and I don't, so I got this nifty little booger. Have not tried this yet, as you can see, it's still in the package. When I do, I will. If you guys want me to, I could do a review on it. Let me know if you want me to recommend it to you guys to go buy it on the website. Just let me know. So then the next thing I got was this shirt. Now, I'm gonna hold it up. They put the seams on the wrong side. So this is the tag. These are the straps. This is a crop top. They put the seam right here and down the middle of the shirt on both sides. So I cannot wear this because this is the tag and these are the seams on the sides. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera, but long story short, they. It's like putting the seam right down the middle right here and right down the back and then the tag is right on the side of my shirt. So I cannot wear this. I'm mad that I waited five days to get this and I can't wear it. And it's super, super white. It would look great with my outfit. But as I got to thinking, I was like, I have a shirt just like that. Literally just like it that I got at PacSun. And this is it right here. It's literally the same shirt, like literally the same shirt. This one's just a little faded because when I do laundry, I don't separate my colors. I just throw whatever's in my hamper and the, and the washer. So this one is way more white and I would rather wear this, but the seam is jacked up. So then I got my outfit for Thanksgiving, which this I thought was a skirt, but it's actually short. So if you look at the back, you can tell. And I really, really love it because the waistband is stretchy. And I am a little bit wider on my hips, so that's nice. So these are like shorts. And I got the, the beige shoes to go with these buttons. And yes, I'm wearing shorts on Thanksgiving and I live in Ohio where it's cold. But last year I wore a two piece set. One was literally a strapless top. Because honestly, you're not gonna be outside, you're gonna be inside. So you're gonna be outside for a minute and that's it. You're gonna be, it's your outfit for the living room. <laughs> and then it came with this jacket. It has just like the collar, and then it has the buttons, well, where are they at? It has the buttons on the side. And it's really, really cute. And you guys will see it better on me tomorrow. And I'll have pictures and you can go over to my social medias and see the pictures. But that is what I got from Shein. I haven't ordered from them in a very, very, very long time. I used to order from them a lot. I don't know why I said it like that, a lot. But it had been a while and I was like, you know what, last year I ordered an outfit from there for Thanksgiving. I kinda wanna, get, I kinda wanna make it a tradition and, and order my outfit every year there from there for Thanksgiving. So that one is my one I'm wearing this year. And this is my new phone case I'm gonna be putting on my phone. And I'm gonna test this out. So yeah. Um. So I just wanted to show you guys a few things. So. Last vlog I posted, I was decorating for Christmas and there's just a few things I wanna show you guys that I did not show in that video. So one of them is we put we put this Santa Claus thing on the table, has candy canes in it. And then this mug that I actually got Lonnie last year for Christmas. And then, excuse the mess on the table, but we have these placemats, which I'm really excited about. And then here's the living room. We rearranged the living room, or I shouldn't say we, I should say my mom and dad. I came home from work and there, everything was moved. The couch is over here now, excuse the house, it's a mess. Um, but the tree, we got different lights on it, but when my parents were rearranging the house, they dropped it, they said, so it literally looks a hot mess. But it has candy canes on it now, different lights, and I put different ornaments on it, and there's a different tree skirt. It's so pointless to have stuff like this in our house because the dogs are just literally animals. Yes, they're animals. They're crazy animals. 
everything else pretty much the same and then i got this light pole thing from dollar general i was gonna give it to my grandma because after i bought it brought it home i'm like there's really nowhere for to put that it kind of looks out of place i haven't decided if i'm keeping it and then i also got one of these i don't know if i talked about this but i really really wanted one of these it's a tree moat and you can turn your tree on and off with it that way you don't have to climb under your tree or behind your tree now that the tree is over here it's way easier access to unplug it and plug it in but it's still easier to just use the remote because who wants to get down and unplug something when you can just press a button so i'm gonna put my phone case oh yeah and i'm gonna tell you guys my little cousin who's in some she's in a few of my videos her name is bailey she was bitten by a dog I'm not going to show the picture because she's very insecure about stuff like that. So I had these things wrapped because like it'll be like a Christmas gift because they go back to Florida and I won't see them on Christmas. But then I got to thinking that's too much. Let's just, just call it like a special gift. So I got her this cup with bath bombs in it and a sponge. I just really hard to shop for her because she's nine now and I don't really know what she's into. I used to know her really well, like what she really, really loved. I just wanted to get her something simple, not nothing super big and expensive, so I just got her this cup. It's cute, it has a little narwhal on it, it'll be fine. I know Daxon likes Paw Patrol, so I got him this, and I had those things wrapped, like I said, but I just decided that maybe it doesn't really need wrapped, because it's nowhere near Christmas. I mean, it kind of is, but like, it's Thanksgiving, not Christmas, so I decided to unwrap it. I'm just going to give it to them tomorrow, and not have it wrapped show them your new jacket it's so cute on you i got him a vest because it gets cold outside for him when he goes outside he starts shaking like you can see him shaking but other dogs have so much fur but he's older and he's little and he doesn't have all that fur and he'll literally be standing at the door to come in at night and just be sh shivering so i got him this vest at walmart he doesn't necessarily like me when i'm putting like it when i'm putting it on him but I'm doing you a favor, okay? Come on. But that's pretty much it for now, guys. I might wait till tomorrow morning to talk to you guys again. I just wanted to come on here today and just talk to you about a few things. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up? So, it's about a little bit after 6 a.m. I was supposed to be off work today because it's Thanksgiving and I scheduled it off. I requested off. But I volunteered to go in today because the people who are working breakfast are, they don't usually do it every day. And I didn't want them to be struggling this morning, so I offered to come in for just breakfast. So I just have to go in from 7 to 9.30 and then I can leave. It's just breakfast. It's not like I have to be there the whole day, so it's fine. But yeah. Got my hair done. My shirt on. I still have my pajama pants on because I, I got dressed pretty early and ready pretty early. I got up better today than I do on a regular day when I'm supposed to go to work. What's up? I am on my way home from work. It is 9.39 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day and honestly it wasn't bad working on Thanksgiving. All the residents seemed like they were like in really good moods. So it was, it was a good day at work. I mean, it was just a morning. All I did was breakfast, but I'm heading home. I'm on the highway right now, just heading home, and usually things don't start at my grandma's until, like, later, like, three or four, so I probably won't see you guys until I start getting ready around, like, maybe one thirty. beautiful this morning well technically it's one o'clock I came home and took a nap because technically today was my ninth day straight working um, but I'm gonna get in the shower and get ready everybody's pretty much sleeping but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready before everybody tries to get ready at the same time so I figured out how to make this shirt work that they messed up I just I'm wearing it like this I don't know if you guys can see it, but the other straps in the back. I'm just wearing it like this. 
because the other one I have is just faded and it doesn't look right. So I have the shorts on. And then my shirt is right here. See, this one is just like faded because it's been washed a lot and I usually wash it with whatever color I wash it with. So I'm going to finish getting ready, take some pictures, and then head to my granny's. We made feet. Right, what are you doing with my Santa Claus? <laughs> Can you tell them what happened? I got bit by a dog. Can you tell the story? No. You want to say happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving! Hi! Say happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! So we're going to go to Walmart, not because we want to go Black Friday shopping, but because we want to get this game called LCR or something like that. Let me in, it's cold! And it's about to be crazy up in this place. I'm going to try and vlog there. Okay guys, I just got home from my grandma's. I just have to say I worked nine days in a row with no day off and tomorrow's my first day. Like, I mean, I just only went in today for breakfast. I literally went in for two hours. But, like, still, I had to get up early. Tomorrow's my first day, nine days. I don't have to get up at 6.30, and I'm so excited about it. But I'm going to take my makeup off. I'll probably put my hair in a scrunchie. But I usually just use this. If we don't have makeup wipes, I use this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk. It's almost gone. It's actually really, really awesome. Um, I didn't include this in my night routine because I didn't have makeup on. But this is just usually what I use to take off my makeup if I don't have makeup wipes. So I just use this stuff. It's called like a milk, cleansing milk. And then I use a wash rag. And then, um, where is my, I have an eye makeup remover somewhere, but oh, there it is. And then this Estee Lauder gentle eye makeup remover. This can kind of get some of it off, but this, like, helps get, like, the excess. And I don't know where my scrunchie is. There's no hair ties in here. Oh, just kidding. I found the cotton rounds. This is what I normally use. Okay, I, did, I just got my hair tied. I don't feel like getting my scrunchie. Hey guys, do you want to see my night routine? I'll link it below. Tomorrow we're supposed to be doing something with the family. I don't know what. Who wants to come in here? Come on, Alvin. We're doing something with the family. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. I haven't decided if I'm vlogging or not. But just take this. Oh shoot, I did not mean to do that. Spread it all over. So Thanksgiving was really good. We played this game at my grandma's called it's called left center right but we call it left right center because it just sounds better that way um it's just like a, if you've never heard of it it's a really really fun game you can play it just for fun or you can play it with money um it's really fun it's really really simple it's like a dice game with like chips um yeah we played that and ate dinner you know the usual thanksgiving ritual and it was a pretty fun night pretty simple night and yeah I didn't really vlog a lot because there really wasn't a whole lot to vlog either we were just sitting in the living room chillaxing or playing the game and it's kind of hard when you're playing the game because it's just kind of always going but I try to vlog as much as I could today for Thanksgiving I didn't vlog that much today for Thanksgiving oh yeah when me and my sister went into Walmart for to get the game because we went in to get the game to Walmart it wasn't really that bad like the um for Black Friday it wasn't that bad like it was pretty crazy but it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was gonna be we literally were just went in there to get the game and we had to wait in this long line just to pay for the game but it was worth it because we had a lot of fun playing the game so we didn't mind so I'm gonna rinse this off and I'll be back I just rinsed my face. I always look redder in the camera 
but in real life but that's just because I use my phone and iPhone camera is just really not like the best for video it just makes you look really gross but like in real life I don't look this like washed out but now I'm going to go ahead and take the eye makeup remover and do my eye makeup Comment below if you usually go Black Friday shopping. I typically don't, uh, just because I think it's, I honestly think it's stupid. Like, I'm not hating on you if you do it, but to me, I just think it's, like, so crazy. Like, we get so hyped and so crazy over a day where things are on sale and you can go buy things. Like, it's so funny to me how people get so excited just to go to the store and buy stuff and, like, get so hyped and crazy about it to me it's just hilarious i guess it makes sense if you're a parent and you have kids and that's when you can go do your christmas shopping or if you're like a couponer i don't know but like to me the only reason i go is to see all the fights every count and how like idiotic people are literally over just shopping <laughs> like how people would rather be out shopping than spending time with their family it just cracks me up Yes, I know I went to Walmart for Black Friday, but it was literally only to get a game to play with my family. Like I said, I'm not hating on anybody who goes Black Friday shopping. I just think it's just so funny to me. But I do need to put a scrunchie in because I don't like to sleep with hair ties. But now that my face is rinsed, my eye makeup's off. Let's go find my scrunchie because... I don't know where I, am. I put it. And my room is like an absolute disaster because it was already kind of a mess. And then I got ready today and there's clothes all over my bed. I have this, okay, bear with me. You're about to look at my floor and that's sometimes a scary thing. I have this shoe rack and people always walk into my room and hit the tips of the shoes and they knocked them all down like freaking bowling pins. So now my shoes are all knocked over. My vanity's a mess from getting ready. <laughs> my vanity's a disaster. I'll probably clean it to my room tomorrow. Because I'm actually off. It's my first day off in nine days. And then my sister's Christmas present I already wrapped. Because I don't trust her. And I don't know where the heck to hide it at. So I just went ahead and wrapped it. And there's my scrunchie. Gotta set y'all right here. For the most beautiful angle. Maybe. Okay. Right. I just like to sleep in a scrunchie because sometimes if I sleep with a hair tight, especially if it's too tight, it gives me a headache. And it's just better for your hair to wear a scrunchie. It doesn't break it as much. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. So I'll see you guys next time on the Kayla. Don't, give, bleh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And comment down below if you go Black Friday shopping. Comment down below if you had a great Thanksgiving. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.